everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I'm your host, Mr. Bevers. Today we just got a little random assortment of things. Um, I know my Thursdays used to be filled with uh, cracking open pre-release kits and things like that. Um, but I don't have any more. They're all gone. So I'm just going to start opening some random product that I have laying around. Let's uh, open up this bad boy. A pack of judgment. All right, so uncommons on the front, which means it's probably one, two, three, and then the rare. So we'll put those to the back. And then here we go. We've got our commons. All right. Harvester Druid. There we go. Hapless Researcher. Toxic Stench. Sudden Strength. Wormfang Newt. My goodness. Spell Gorger Barbarian. I guess I can hold this a little bit higher so you guys can see it. Phantom Nomad. Shielding uh, Shield Mage Advocate. Battlefield Scrounger. Now, to be clear with everyone here, I remember a lot of these cards because I started playing for the second time around the time that these sets were came out phantom tiger the good old phantom cards where they come in with tokens and then whenever they take damage they remove a, a counter flaring pain spurn mage advocate as our first uncommon flash of insight this is also the first set from with flashback from what i understand Wormfang Crab, and our rare, Solitary Confinement. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice Solitary Confinement unless you discard a card from your hand. Skip your draw step. You can't be the target of spells or abilities. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you. It's interesting. So you sort of lock yourself away for a number of turns if you have a way to... So, like, you skip your draw step, but if you have a way to draw cards on the table, that doesn't matter to you. Right, so if you plunk this down and then just draw cards during your turns, you can just keep this in play until they find a way to deal with it. And they can't deal damage to you, which is kind of interesting. Now, your win con might be a little bit weird, because then you got to find a way to uh, deal damage back to them, since chances are they probably won't be swinging you with all of their creatures, if they have any. Um, Scourge. Let's do Scourge next. Alright, commons on the front. Dragon Breath. Wipe Clean, Uncontrolled Infestation, Dragon Fangs, Death's Head Buzzard, Scornful Egotist, Ah, Morph. Ah, yes, the Morph cards. Noble Templar, Twisted Abomination with Swamp Cycling. This was, a, I believe, a set that added in the, like, the basic land cycling. I think. I, I mean, I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think this was the set that introduced that. Where you would, so it's like force cycling is you pay two and you discard it. You search your library for a force card, reveal it, put it into your hand. And so instead of instead of cycling to draw a card, you're getting a land, basically. Dispersal shield. Torrent of fire. All right, uncommons. Rain of blades. Hey, a Daru Warchief. Not a bad little one. This is good for the soldiers out there. People who play soldiers as their tribe. They cost one less, and they get plus one, plus two. So he comes in for four mana as a two, three, and makes all your other dudes cost less. So that's not so bad. Goblin Warchief, too. Wow, we got two of the chiefs in one pack. That's not too bad. So this is one of the cards that I talked about in the Goblin deck just the past week. Very good card. Makes them cost one less and gives them haste. And our rare, a mischievous Quanar. Or Qu Quanar. Quanar. That's the one. 
So it's a 3-3 three, three for 5. And you can turn it face down for 5 mana. And when you turn it face up, copy target instant or sorcery spell, you may choose new targets. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a neat little trick to copy spells. Of course, you can copy like your opponent's spells too, because it doesn't say. It just says copy target instant or sorcery and get new copies for it. Or make new targets, I should say. So this is uh, Legions. Is this the one that we're doing now? Yeah, Legions. Ah, yes. The cycling cards. So Gem Palm Avenger, which when you cycle it, uh, soldier, all soldiers get plus one, plus one and gain first strike until end of turn. This is Gem Palm Polluter, which is another Gem Palm, only the zombie one. Cycle it. it they lose one life for each zombie in play. It's pretty mean. Cephalid Path Mage. Crozen Vor uh, Varine. Or Vorine. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Anyway, Hunter Sliver. Interesting that Hunter is in lowercase. Don't know why that is. Goblin Grappler. Merchant of Secrets. Skin Thinner. Another zombie. It's interesting. So it's like it's a 2 1, but you can morph it up for 5. And when it does, you destroy target non black creature. It can't be regenerated. Crest, uh, crested Craghorn. Hey, Timber Watch Elf. A card that was reprinted, I believe, in Modern Masters, I want to say. Or is it Eternal Masters? One of those two sets. I can't remember which one. But it was reprinted just recently. Vile Deacon. And then here we go. We got another gem palm. Only this one is the Elf gem palm. And it's an uncommon instead of a common. Um, when you cycle it, el all elves get plus two plus two until end of turn. Oh, a Spectral Sliver. Slivers are cool. All slivers have pay two. This creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn. And a Willbender. A guy that I had in my wizard deck for quite some time. Because when you turn him face up, you change the target of target spell or ability. It's a great way to mess with your friends. Scion of Darkness. So the Scion of Darkness is an interesting card. It's Trample. Whenever Scion of Darkness deals combat damage to a player, you may put target creature card from that player's graveyard into play under your control. So, um, and then the Scion of Darkness, if I remember correctly, there were one drops, I want to say. I can't remember their name. But I think it's like if you had two or three of them, you could sacrifice them. Or you could have as many as you wanted in the deck and you needed six. And once you got six, you could summon this guy. I can't remember if that's how it worked. I think that's how it worked. So you could basically put them in, and it was like a, I think they were like a 1-1 one, one cleric, like a, like a dude, like just basically like a cultist. Anyway, there you have it, just some of the older sets that I have sort of sitting around that I picked up from packs and stuff when I was there. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. Don't forget I have a store, nerdvanastore.ca, as well as a Patreon where you can get discount codes to that store, as well as grab bags, bundles, boxes, things like that. Thank you so much for watching, and as always... May your pulls ever be better.